in a world where magic is real. Treasure is but a quest away. And peasants are still peasants. An uneasy peace has reigned due to the stalemate between the heroic Phileas the Green and the villainous Hare Man. But now, four new adventurers are answering the call. Rononer, Human Paladin. Immaculata Unguibus, Human Cleric. Deirdre Briarsong, Half-Elf Warlock. And Eights, the Goblin Rogue. Welcome to TBD and D. Order yourself at the bar. Those are both options that you have. If you want to take a look at the menu, there's a QR code on your table. Just scan that on your phone, and you can see the menu and also other things that are happening in the bit here. If you're intrigued, you got that? Yeah. Ah, I didn't say say yes that time. Not yes, 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 thank you, thank you. So you are here to see TV D, &D which is a show that we're very excited to present to you. A few things are different about this show. So one. Parts of it are written ahead of time. That's right. Phil and I, Phil who's in the booth, do something with the lights, Phil. There, that's what I wanted. Uh, we have prepared a plan for this episode because we are the DMs, or Dum Dum Masters, for this show. And so we have arranged a plot and a plan that is going to hopefully get our story. However, some of our players are completely in the dark, shockingly, worryingly in the dark about what's going to happen on this stage, so they will be experiencing it for the first time, just like you. So, hopefully, they aren't going too far off. Also, at times, we are going to need a little help from you, our god, the Audiencia. So, if I say, Audiencia, I need guidance right now. Audiencia, what should be the next word that I say right now? And you, Audiencia, will say? Squirrel. Squirrel! World. Thank you, a wonderful word to say, and that's why we pray to God. So, if at any time someone asks Audiencia for some sort of suggestion, or to make a choice for them, please, Audiencia, just shout it out as loud as you can. You got it? No. Ah, that time I wondered if it's up. So, we'll get this next time. So, the last thing we have to understand is that in this world, at times, we're going to take actions, and our actions are governed by the role of a dog. The roll could be anywhere from a 20 to a 1. A 20 is a grand success, a 1 is a most miserable failure. You'll get this as we happen, but at times, you know what? We might find that we have failed on stage in a way that just doesn't make sense, and that you don't want to happen. At that point, I want you guys to shout, to shout save that roll, over and over again, until we go out into the audience, we hand you this die, and so, if we do this, and we say, save that roll, Fred, who I know, and is not a plan, just someone I know well, <laughs> will throw the die on the stage, oh, and hope it's not that hard. <laughs> 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 
And we will get a six, because Fred, Fred threw it twice, and the gods don't like that. But we will have you throw this die to re-roll any die that we'd like. So if you want to do that during the show, please shout it out, and we'll find you in the audience and give you this to throw at somebody on stage. So that's going to be fun. I don't think that I have anything else I'm supposed to say right now. Are you guys ready for the show? Yeah! You're ready for the show? Yeah! Well, then let me present to you TVDMD! In a world where magic is real, treasure is but a quest away, and peasants are still peasants. An uneasy peace has reigned due to the stalemate between the heroic Phileas the Green and the villainous Hair Man. But now, four new adventurers are answering the call. Groner, human paladin. Immaculata Unguibus, Human Cleric, Deirdre Briarsong, Half-Elf Warlock, and Ace, the Goblin Rogue. Welcome to TBD and T. Previously on TBD and T, our heroes, Immaculata, Deirdre, Ace, and Ronina have just met the greatest hero of their age, Billy's the Green. Billy's the Green! Because he's petrified outside his greatest rival, the villain, Bill the Starman, in the film's bar the Zaz. Two dead bodies in a bar? Oh, I hope the department won't like this. I don't know where they came from. Milton has heard of a way to bring their hero back. But I think I know how to bring it back. The Amulet of Resurrection. Ooh. Resurrection, you see. Unless the metaphor can get the amulet first to bring back the villain hair man. Let's do it! I'm also part of the... Yeah! <laughs> we'll get that amulet piece before you guys ever get a chance. Never! It makes sense, because now there's four! Yes! Yeah, that's why we're the metaphor. After that wonderful lizard <laughs> counted down, <laughs> <point, laughs> they watched the walls of a cave and anchored the cave. They set off to go to Hell City and receive a warm welcome. Look out, Captain Lewis! Oh, oh my god, god. Oh, no. You two are ugly, you're going to jail. Why? Hell's cool. And after they were offered some unlikely help from an unlikely source. Talk to the hands. But, no, I'll give you hair. I'll take it. <laughs> Our heroes retrieved the first piece of Yammer from Deirdre's father. Thank you, Daddy. Father. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they then set off to Anderton, where they encountered the villains of Balrog. That's me! Oh, no, no, no! Oh. Oh. You, you guys are going to jail! Again? Yeah! <laughs> Ace went into it to rescue his friends, but found family instead. Brother! Oh my god! I can't believe it too! You look so much bigger than you look older! It happens. It happens. So what's going on here? Well, what was going on was that his family was leading the revolution. See the revolution? Yes! And yes. after our friends escaped from prison, again. Oh thank goodness! Oh, there's so many prisons in this world! <laughs> they met up with Ace to make a plan to bring down the hey, first regime. We need a plan. Wait. I'll distract uh, 
I don't know, somebody. Yes, and then we will go get the aggregate from the big bad guy. Yes. Ace and his brother snuck through innumerable traps and trials. Watch out for the mines. Yo, oh, my. They pop real big loud. Yes, yes. Luckily, they are stealthy. They found themselves in the throne room of Thrak, the ruler of it. Thrak! It's Thrak! He can't be before Oh, he does not look good. No, he looks like he's dying. Ot Balrog made his return to reveal the truth and to make an offer. I'm really ruling the town. But I'll give you an offer to pretend to rule the town while I secretly rule the town behind you. Ooh, I could be like a king! No, no, don't fake it! Don't do it! Don't do it! After rejecting the offer like a mature adult he hates is... No, I will not do it! Dr. Dog does what he does best. Alright, I'm going to kill you! No, don't do it! Run, brother! Oh, no, 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 no. oh, how dare you! I will be back, I swear! Oh. I didn't like my brother that much anymore. And now I have the ambulance. And I'm dead! Well, all the dogs are extremely in the feet. They received exactly what they needed to raise their spirits. Letters from birds! Oh, I've been invited to compete in a cooking contest at Cavalonia! And mine says that weird bartender with the sex fetishes has some information for me. Will Immaculata stand up to the heat in the kitchen? Will Governor be tricked into another sex thing? Find out this week on <laughs> TVPNB. <laughs> They've chosen a campsite beside a waterfall, masking the mouth of a mysterious cave. They've decided not to use the cave because Ace was afraid of being accidentally washed. Yes, I must keep my filthy smell if they give me my personality. If you could just walk under the water for just a few minutes, we'd all appreciate it, I think. Thanks, I'm not going to feed you till you at least wash your hands. The vintage car code will make me feel bad. Those are so hot. Ow! What did you do down me? I did! After, before. There's fire coming out of it, Ace. It's a fire. Listen, everybody, I need you to. To try, I need you to try this gross medicine and let me know if I... I'll try it. Yes, I need you to, to tell me if my if my mushrooms are, are all diced uniformly. You have no idea how strict this cooking competition is, and I have to win it. I have to win it. These are triangular, circular, and oblong. Is that intended? Yes. What is oblong? <laughs> I'm off red meat. It's venison. That, that is red meat. The reddest, arguably, of red meat. Well, then it's a good thing that I roasted a quail for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Nothing for the eight. <laughs> I never get anything special. Here is a quince pie. It was pie? <laughs> it's pie pie. Who's quince? <laughs> Ace, just eat it. This is delicious. Is it spiced? Just the, the spice level? Is it? Is it just perfect? Yes, it needs a little cold. Stop! <laughs> Stop worrying about the competition, Macalotti. You're the best chef that I've ever seen in my entire life. That's very kind of you to say, Broninger. But back in my hometown, I I was a, a scullery maid. Ooh, what does that even mean? My, my family, yes, we worked in the castle. Yes, we were we were well versed in all of the courtly traditions. This sounds pretty great so far. But we were oh. servants, and we were seen as servants. And when they made me a, an acolyte in the in the temple of the of the of the pampered chef, it was a it was a it was a travesty. It was a People, people complain. I have a question. You said scullery, so where were the skulls? Eight. <laughs> yes, you knock it out. I am trying to bear my heart and soul here. 
Bear your heart and your soul. But you're not even listening. I, she said skulls. I have a lot, I have to prove myself. This is a, a very, uh, a, a very prestigious competition. A competition? Yes. Yes, eight must tell. Eight is the best in competing. Yes, you must say it, please. It is pretty good with food, you have to admit. Yes. You know what, eight? You're very good at eating food. Yes. But I really don't think Capalonia is your sort of place. I really think the tavern, the bar, the, the, the weird perverted sex bartender, that is more your sort of place. No, 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 that sounds really dull. I don't want to do something like that. Bars are boring. Nothing good has ever happened in a and, bar. And you're down gaming food, right? And eights, people say eights is a snack. <laughs> Honestly, in the bar, they're probably all going to have like maybe wings and maybe some tots of some sort. I would go to Cephalonia, definitely. I heard there are these things called, called jalapeno poppers. They sound just like what they're even green to match you. That is cannibalism! No, definitely! I go with you! Oh, no. oh I you'll be great! I will help you win! I will coach you! No, Ace! I, I will give you a massage! Ace, I know you mean well, and and you are my my friend, and I I appreciate that, but really no. you Deidre, you know, <laughs> potion making and no, you know, you know I really it really sounds bad to all to me. Deidre, everything sounds dull to you. You said all those nice things about eights, so just go with eights. You left me in the woods last time. You're going to abandon eights again. Please. Oh, please. Please. He's groveling. <laughs> I can't watch this. Eights rolls for grovel. <laughs> eights, you can't even grovel. Oh, someone please help me grovel. All right, maybe if you the bath and the waterfall. All right, I'll come here. <laughs> no, 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 where's the water? No, no, no. Oh, 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 Maybe I'm too clean. I will just roll in the dirt. <laughs> All right, eight rolls for a brand new set. It's a 13. Eight smells lucky. <laughs> you, do, you, do, you do smell like that Goblin Spring soap I've seen. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Start writing. Or we'll give you a reason for them to save you. No huh. negative review they, on you. They, they have to split up so we can resurrect her man. Yes. Yes. And then no. this way, you'll have advantage at the cooking competition. I will. I will win. The metaphor realized it would be helpful if they reminded Milton of who they were. <laughs> <including> <laughs> they were. Yes, for the metaphor. Lucius panics. Conrad. Conrad, I'm next. Oh, yes. We go this way. I'm Hot Belrod. And I'm Targaryen. Yes. Did you write the letter yet? I'm writing it. I'm so slow. Doesn't yeah. have to all be in cursive. But make it legible. Come on now. That's. Do you want to write it, Conrad? Just Do you want letter. to write it? <laughs> no. <laughs> if he writes it, they won't think it's from you. I may have information on Ronder's past. Yes. Sincerely, your friend, not a sex thing, Milton. 
Okay. Bird. There, I've said it by bird. Hey, now right. you better be here when he gets here. I'll be here. I don't ever leave his eyes. Now, huh. can I get you anything to drink? Oh, oh my wine! Yeah. Well, yeah. I, well, I guess. I could choose a nice wine spritzer. Thank you. Three days later, Immaculate at eight finally made their way to Catalonia, where they found the place to sign up for the contest registration. This is a very, very elegant, sophisticated town and people. Yes. You just, just do your best. Yes. Yeah, watch me. I will be so classy. Don't sniff the lady. Don't <laughs> sniff the lady. She's so, so good. But as Immaculata looked again at the lady, it was a face that she recognized from the recent past. You look very familiar and evil. <laughs> <laughs> what, me? No. I think you may have met my sous chef. And to look at your filthy apron, only a true villain would wear a filthy apron like that. As a regular got caught up in the details of the filth, she missed the bigger picture right in front of her face. Lucius Pence was being supported by a sous chef, so a picture of Aguilar to do well. Oh, you threw us in jail with that half a person last night. Time. No, that was not. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't. He plucked me. He plucked me from me. My fabulous singing. I am now his best acolyte he's ever Oh, us. Oh. And now he is oh. my Susha. You look a lot like another evildoer I met a while ago. <laughs> Sorry. There's something about the evil viewers that they all sort of look the same, but it's not good to say that. But this one's <laughs> this is so this is so the chef. I am Lucius Pants. This is my sous chef. Oh, that's and true. who's your sous chef? It, it is yeah. <laughs> Ace the Goblin Master of Cuisine. That's <laughs> it. Oh, oh, do not let looks deceive you. <laughs> This While is... the two parties argued, the host of the cooking competition entered to run down the rules. Ladies uh -huh. and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Bobby Mind Flayer. Hi, right, everyone. Hi. Uh, welcome, all contestants. Welcome. All right. Registrations closed. You are now our official contestants. All right. Yes. Uh, this is, of course, a very special cooking competition here in South Bologna. Uh, that has a very special name that we have not yet come up with. So, uh, Audencia, if you could give me the name of your favorite cooking show. Iron Chef. Iron Chef. Iron Chef. And of course, we call this Iron Chef because if you do lose, we stick an iron skewer right through you. Uh, a lot on the line tonight. Uh, now, of course, you didn't know what you were cooking beforehand. I'm about to release the meal you will be making. Uh, once again, Audencia, please. Favorite meal? Grilled rabbits. Grilled rabbits. <laughs> grilled rabbits. Now, I'm assuming you don't have the ingredients for grilled rabbit in your bags. Uh, and we don't have any ingredients here in the competition either. So the first thing you have to do is source your ingredients around town. Go to the marketplace, go to the wharf, wherever you need to go, get your ingredients, but what you bring back is the only thing you can cook with. So make it count. All right, to the marketplace. With that, Bobby Mind Player said his textbook catchphrase. Bam! Nah. <laughs> Just go! <laughs> Meanwhile, Rodiner and Deer were walking through a field in the direction that they remembered as ours being, but all they could see was a cave in the middle of the field. Why is there a cave in the middle of a field? And why is it right behind us? <laughs> As they respected the cave, they could hear knocking and muffled screaming coming from it. Help me! Help! Sounds like someone's in there. It sounds like that guy, I can't remember his name, he's the weird sex bartender. No. It's not... 
Never mind. But no, help me. <laughs> or, I guess. I mean, I guess. I don't see any possible choice other than to go into this cave and maybe find Milton. You could always roll perception to see if you could figure out why there's a cave in the field. Unless there's a reason that this cave is in the middle of the field and stuck up behind us. Great, great. Uh, perhaps we should perceive it then. With a 16, you could tell that the rocks of the cave were not natural and had moved into place. And the cave you were looking at was actually the tavern, Hazar's, now encased in rock. This cave smells like stale beer and sadness. <laughs> Rhoda had never felt more at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in, Deidre. With that, they made their way through the entranceway of the cave and found themselves in a large cavern covered by stalagmites and stalactites. And inside it, they saw Milton. Uh, you, you got the letter. Yeah. Yeah, where's your, like, Papa Cave now? I, one day, I'm just sitting there, minding my business, selling some very fresh beer, thank you very much. Mm. When all of a sudden, Stalactites just everywhere surrounding my bar, and they said it was because of you people. That we could have been our bad. Oh. We likely got chased by very slow moving stalactites. Uh, well, the and they kept following us. In the time it took you to go on your little journeys, they made their way here, and now I don't have a bar, got a cave. Chris, it looks pretty cool. You were Do you want something that's real? Well, I don't want that mold lying. I don't want. I don't want beer. I mean, while we're here, we're not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, the slag tighter also make excellent kegs. <coughs> so, here. Uh, Milton, I think you know why we're here because I can read and I read every single word of your note. That's right. In person, he he all, all by myself. Well. Yep. Yes. And, I didn't open it all. No, and, and, and I heard you have some information about my family. Maybe. But first, I need some help with this cane, alright? Why do you always need help with things? You guys caused this! Uh, no, you sent us to the ghost men, and that's where we found the stalactites and stalagmites. It's kind of your fault. Uh, Deirdre's rolling for, uh, uh, with a 16, Milton kind of begins to believe this might have been his fault. Fair enough, but you know, you have to, have to irritate him. Have you ever you asked him nicely? Whenever I go to the cave, I just like, hey, Sly Tights, can you have me some ghost mint? And they're like, sure. How are we supposed to know that we were supposed to talk to these formations that are thousands of years old? Oh, just because they're old, they don't have feelings? Corona <laughs> loses one hit point for ages. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they still have value. They can, I don't know, greet people when they come into your cave. Oh, no, this is another hit point for <laughs> Maybe if, as long as they stay off the roads. Corona loses two more hit points for ages and has to write a letter to the AARP. <laughs> You write a letter for me. <laughs> As they prepared that letter, Ace and Immaculata found themselves searching through Catalonia in order to find the ingredients for the roasted rabbit. Now, Ace, we're going to have to go to the market. Wait, everybody is going to be. As your Susan chef, <laughs> I face <laughs> the market is not what we do. Everyone goes where you go is where they know respect, and we go to Wharf. Yes! Wait, we're going to the fish! Yes! Yeah, but, but we need herbs and we need vegetables. We need the sauce. We must blow them away. We take the fish and shove it right up the rabbit's ass. <laughs> As they were discussing this, Immaculata realized that it had been guiding them to the wall while they were talking. Oh. Oh. Hey, look at that! Your chicanery! Boy, that's chicanery, isn't that licorice? 
rocks. Then we have the singing rocks. Take these. Ooh. Now all you have to do is concentrate on your friends. Just concentrate on them very Ooh. carefully, and they will start to hear you in the rocks nearby. Ooh. And then they should appear here in like a holographic form. I think I pooped my pants. Once you, like, 
Just ferment it for a little while. Is that why it's so popular? It's the most popular bar in the land. I mean, granted, it's the only bar in the land, but you know. Okay. Smells really, I don't know. Pungent. Gassy, yeah. yeah. Pungent. Gassy. That, may, that, that means it's good. The, the grosser it smells, the better it tastes. Listen, can I have a minute with my associate here, please? Buzz off. Oh, let me the one nice to that type. <laughs> Alright, her. I don't know. That's the one stalactite that won't poke you. And as we know, he's a weird sex guy, so everyone pokes him. Right. <laughs> so, okay, I don't know what this relationship is. <laughs> in fact, no one really did it to decide, you know what, let's just deal with the mold and not with that weird stalactite. Yeah, mold. <laughs> Deeper, don't you have something that can, I don't know, light this thing on fire? Ah, crap. All right, so we're stuck with this weird stalactite with this weird sex guy. <laughs> this thing, oh, wait, the hood? Oh, I forgot about it. We should, we should talk to this. Maybe we should talk to yeah. him. Yeah. Hey, yeah. when you there. Wait, wait, I'm in the corner. Come on over here where the lighting's better. <laughs> what gives? With that, the hooded person began to describe why they had been hiding in the day. They said, with grand, huge gestures, that they knew of an army that was hiring an army of rock bones. And as such, they were trying to hide all the rocks in the land. But they needed to convince these rocks in order to sign up for an army for a war that may never end, that would consume generations with no clear end in sight and no clear enemies. <laughs> Finally, the real enemies that they could not nail down during the ancient proper warfare with <laughs> Out of here, just I want them out of my bar. Right. Yeah, maybe all of them will sleep that one. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, and except for this one. <laughs> Here's a thing sure. that I've never tried since college, but I might try it now. All right. Don't ask where I went to school, that let me slip through the cracks without ever learning to read. Where'd you go to school? Damn it, Deidre! <laughs> I'm gonna eat this mold, no. okay? You've got some what? sort of player spell! With that, they had their plan, and it was starting to be ready. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Catalonia, <laughs> Ace's brother had all the protein that they had had, and that they could Ace. ever need, but they realized they needed one more piece of spice. We need one more thing, I don't know what it is. I do! You're, that's right, you're a cook! <laughs> oh, Ace! And this is where you live! It is! Where should you go? Well, in that you are to remember that there were two options for finding seasoning in the kingdom of Catalonia. Worst you would prefer to go would be the royal gardens, home to the best herb plants one can find. But of course, there was always the creepy little apothecary down on Market Street, where Immaculata had never dared to enter, but she knew they sold rare and global spices from across the realm. Let's visit the royal gardens where the best, most fragrant, beautiful herbs are. Oh, I remember as a child. No, 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 don't, don't sing! I do not want to see a flashback! We got eight and my god, made their way to the rolling, rolling gardens with eight plugging his ears the entire way to avoid the song. Oh, and got there right as she reached the last note of her song. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, Ace, you have no taste at all. Uh, mm, more taste like fish. <laughs> uh, Ace rolled to see how much of the fish he had eaten on the journey from the wharf to the garden. With a 19, there was one fish I left at the bottom of the bed. Uh, here's the fish. In <laughs> <laughs> that, Magdalene looked up and saw someone else controlling the gardens. It was her sister, Virtuosity. <laughs> someone she had always looked up to. Virtuosity? 
She's hot. I am hot. <laughs> Yes! I'm used to you looking more poised. How are you, sister? I, I'm fine. I, I might be a bit frazzled because I've been invited to, to compete in the culinary challenge this year. You're competing this year? I am! Oh, I should say goodbye to you now, dear. It's been lovely meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> As Immaculata tried to deal with those feelings, she saw something else start to appear in the gardens. And this is something that was inspired by the random suggestions that you grew in your hat earlier. She saw a merchant moving an entire column of capybara into the gardens in order to sell them. Because that's the best place to shop for more. Go with me. And, and the rest of the capybara. Oh, I need my gloves. That's a live animal. Yeah, put your gloves on, Nebula. Don't pull the pull. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. Control your animals. Sorry, sorry. Try and get them through the garden. Gloves, gloves, you know the rules. Yes, ma'am. Uh, here's the, 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 the thing, which wants me. We, we had a bunch of proteins for the, for the contest, and something happened to them. <laughs> and now we need to replace it. And I'm thinking that Copy Barrow takes a Quite a bit like rabbits. And it will sit right up the rabbit's foot. You have that back in the old circuit. You're right, you're right. I think that's a good idea. Should I put it for you to make sure you don't do too bad, though? Dr. Chalosky, I, I appreciate and honor your skills, but I have to do this for myself. Okay. She is the best cook in the land. You need to respect her. She takes chances, she takes risks. She is fantastic. You need to respect Vector. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> that was my, my sous chef, Thanks. I'm very proud of him. You may call me Sue. <laughs> Sue, yes. yes. Um, oh dear. All right, now can you guys get out of our way? We gotta get through this garden. How, how much for one, though? She might be in one. Oh no, these are my pets. <laughs> I'm just taking them for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> It's not right to kill a pet now, is it, Immaculata? No. <laughs> no. I will not kill the heart. So I'm like, with that, that about Immaculata him. made a pointed look at Ace. <laughs> I, I, wouldn't have the heart. Ace, Fred, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. That's why I'm just out of my normal morning walk with my three cap pair. Well, do you know back where I came from, I was a renowned Capabara Cowboy. I could oh. ride them like two weeks. And I see these beautiful animals here. And I would love to go for a ride. Would you please? And I think you'd enjoy watching me. Just a little quick ride. <laughs> Ace rolled to convince the merchant to let him ride off on one of his capabaras. And there was a dead merchant who wasn't quite convinced. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I believe you were a good cowboy, but I couldn't let any of these part. But I used to do it bad back. At this point, Immaculata had to decide whether she was going to support Ace's harebrained scheme or listen to her perfectionist sister and leave the capybara. You know what the right thing to do is. You must do the right thing. That's how we were raised. You are correct. Yes, I am. There's nothing but the animals were born to die. They like it. And we will have a Ace, oh, Yes, ma'am. This is your fault in the first place. We earned that fish and, and rabbits and everything else fair and square, and you ate them all except for one fish eye. It was the reason. There's a reason for these things. Because in the reality, duck and fish, or is it rabbit? I can't remember. Rabbit and fish, it doesn't go very well. But rabbit. Pork, <laughs> big. Oh. What, what do you suppose a capybara is? I, I don't think you know what they are. I'm not going to work out. Capybara. 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 you Capybara. 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 I will go this way and perhaps speak 
and tried to steal one. Come on, let's keep walking this As way. As they left, Ace made one last attempt to steal a capybara. I rolled a 15 and stole one just. <laughs> And a quick five minute intermission while we try and reset for the second animal. Please go to the bathroom if you need it. Use the bar. I need mean, to so get more drinks. That's not it. Use the bar to drink. Give the bar that drinks. Not me. Of his new catchphrase, 
Not bam! I fixed it, see? I fixed it. Yes. Alright, it's time to start the competition. You have ingredients? Yes! That's weird. That way. You do it all you have. I told you to get whatever ingredients you wanted, and that's. <laughs> Rolls are how cute the happy bar is. <laughs> <laughs> Rubik's Well, the happy bar is kind of a fun of things, to be honest. <laughs> but it's an endearing way. I get why you picked that one, that's fair. Alright, well, it's time to start cooking. So, a la quits kids' cuisine. There you go. Sorry, cook. With that, they started furiously beginning to cook their own. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to do it fast. That's, that's a unique technique that they have. Oh, what tools are you using? I'm gonna move. Yep, that's into stuff. That, that's into A 16, he got it up there. That is hard <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Can I ask you, what herbs are you planning on putting in there? Uh, I am going to use basil and um... Three hours later. <laughs> just keep going, keep going. It's a timed event, so just... Look at this meticulous work. Actual knives being used as opposed to pitchforks and blunt blades. Uh, there's a crank involved in all this. There's a lot going on. Look at the perfection. <laughs> oh, you can tell there's skilled artwork going on here. I could watch this all day. Uh, and then, well... Oh, well, we're rolling out on a spin at least, basting it with an actual mop. That's, that's a good technique. You're getting all of it. I you like want to roll for base. With an eight, she didn't quite get all of it. Well, you know, you only need to base one side, right, I guess? I'm definitely going to get an iron uh, stabby for you. I'm going to find one of those. As Bobby Mindslayer, who got distracted and admired this stabby thing, <laughs> Ace realized that he might have to go outside the rules to win this competition. And crack over the opposing team. It is time to do a wedgie. <laughs> With a three, Lucius Pence heard him coming, unless Audientia wanted to re-roll. Re-roll. Re-roll! 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 Thank you, Audientia. Re-roll. And we have a die here. Who wants to throw it? Who wants to throw it? Oh, this guy wants to throw it. All right. Don't worry, you I may not be and with that, we remind the audience here, we're not liable for the cost of their dreams. <laughs> it is an 18, though. Yeah! Yeah! Eight, turn it up and give Lucius Pence the biggest wedgie you've ever seen! <laughs> <laughs> with that, Lucius Pence and Sister Lucia Seamus attempt to undo a wedgie, which is very hard. And with a three, they are now both wedged by the same pen. The time they come to put their ingredients in the oven. <laughs> and Bobby Lightshare was fine with that. Yeah, yeah. He goes on my own. <laughs> I don't care, I already got paid. <laughs> with that, both parties. Decided to put their real gravity in the onion and then trust the judges to decide whether it was good enough to eat. Meanwhile, back in the cave inside, inside Rodina's body, Deirdre's uh, invisible servant, which looks and sounds weirdly like Deirdre when inside Rodina's body, began to explore his internal organs. Is that his, uh, is that his heart right there? Is, is that his heart right there? I should... I it was should. not his heart. Oh, oh God. Uh, what's that? I... Yeah, this invisible servant rolled a perception check to see if she could figure out which one was the heart. With a three, she could figure out that he had a heart, but not which organ it was. 
Well, gave this invisible servant tried to figure out what she knew about cards by doing a medicine what check. If, what if I, by a, a Deirdre, me being the invisible servant, cast Witch Bolt and cast electricity throughout his body to rejuvenate him, right? Perhaps That's a pretty like, good idea. Might work. <laughs> yeah. Shoot it. So. Deirdre cast the thing, and as the ball bolt smashed around the inside of his body and gashed between his heart and his lungs and what looked like his brain up there on the right. <laughs> Back on the outside, real Deirdre saw Ronan's body jump with a bullet of electricity. Ronan, are you alright? <gasps> I don't. What? That worked. What? What worked? Not have worked. The last thing I remember was this really hilarious joke I got up from college, and I was clapping, and then I fell down. You didn't eat that mold, did you? No. Okay, okay, we're back. With that, they realized that these slack mice and slack mice looked a little uncomfortable, as if they had no more to eat, and were deciding to head out the door and leave Milton and his bar in peace. He ate our mold. We have nothing to do here anymore. Starving. That was their molds. Oh, I had a really good idea for that mold, but that's cool too if it worked that way. Right. <laughs> Let's throw right. away. Are, are you sure you got it? I'll be back. I did it! You know, perhaps we should work on singing the lullaby on the very day. Else. Will be <sighs> okay. What do you have in mind? What happens when you leave a bar? Well, when I leave a bar, they play one particular song. Which song is that? Um, it's called Closing Time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Are you going to sing it with me? I sure okay. will. Okay, all right. Oh, closing time, closing, 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 closing time. God damn it, no. <laughs> 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 In fact, Jason was upset. I knew a different version, I guess. Okay, we'll go we'll free break into Luminous Ice. Milton looked over and saw one stalactite that had not left yet the bar. It was very slowly moving its way towards the door. Your creepy sex stalactite needs to leave right now. <laughs> okay, fine. I do have some information for you because I got something I gotta take care of. Great! Thank <laughs> you! <laughs> Took you long enough. With that, Milton walked over to the friendly stalactite and snapped it in two. <sighs> David was pretty freaked out. What'd you do that for? Didn't leave my bar. What of my bar to be afraid of all these lag types. I thought you liked them. I did. Meanwhile, back in Cafalone, gates <laughs> and the lobby awaited results from the after cooking contest alongside the opposing pair of Sagacious Sebus and Luffy's Bats. Well, this was a mess all around. Uh, one of the worst competitions we've had in a long time. Thank you! Yeah, at least yours is fully cooked. Uh, it is not rabbit like we asked, unfortunately. Oh, look inside! Okay. Ah, oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it says a lot about Bobby Mindflame that he just immediately looked inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now that we've tasted all the dishes, you're all tied up, but at least you made. Bobby Mindflame hasn't tasted that dish yet. Oh, I gotta taste this. It's a rabbit, at least, right? Okay. It is. Roasted. Roll for constitution. A two. <laughs> Bobby Mindflayer immediately stops barfing. No. <laughs> no. No. Okay. No. Alright, let me try this cap there. I'm gonna go from this side, though. Just, <laughs> just uh, take a <laughs> He's still feeling the effects of the first thing. This is so bad! <laughs> uh, uh, unless somebody wants to re-roll, how do that cap is ever taste? Re-roll. 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 
All right. Okay. Can you get up on stage? Oh, tickets online or if you'd like you can purchase Bitcoin from Kelsey at the bar tonight at a discount and get your tickets ahead of time. So please, 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 if you like these all, please come back next month. And if you like these all, invite your friends to come back with you. We'll explain what's going on in a horribly confusing way and they'll be right at home. If you like these all and you want to see more shows, there are tons of shows at the bit every Friday and Saturday night. We also have classes here and Lots and lots of opportunities to see and learn and just live in the improv that we do. So please check out thebitimprov.com if you'd like to do that. As of right now, the bar remains open. So yes, yes, cheer for that. So if you would like to get another drink, please do. Because some of us will get a drink because we are very thirsty. It's very hot. So stick around, have a drink with us, or if you have to head out, please close out your check with Kelsey. And please, know that you are always welcome to be here. If you like what you saw, leave us a good review online. It always helps. If you didn't like what you saw, send your enemies to us, and we will ruin their lives as well. <laughs> With that, we bid you good night, and have a very good night.